Yo what's up guys, today I'm going to show you how I created this thermal futuristic cover art using as the main effect the gradient map option. This video will show you my designing process. Let's get started. I'm here on unsplash.com to find an image that we're going to use as the starting point of this graphic. So in this case I'm going with a streetwear vibe. I personally like this image, so let's download it and import it in Photoshop. I download it with the first image, uh, free images, just to be sure. Let's go straight into the editing by adding a heat thermal map using the gradient map option over the first image. I decided to use a gradient map that uh, I created previously for other graphics, uh, so in this case I'm not starting it from scratch. Unfortunately, I forgot to show you the exact coordinates and actual color numbers, but if you want to use it, uh, you can approximate it by watching this frame of the video. You can pause the video and uh, approximate the colors. I didn't like how the color was fitting on the image, so I decided to invert the gradient, and it was the best choice. Then I modified the spot of the image and cancelled the hoodie logo since it makes the album cover unprofessional. Now it's time to add some 3D lines on the music cover. I firstly started with the render of a mountain but soon I realized it didn't fit the cover So I scrolled down a bit and found a pretty colorful 3D graph. Here I'm trying to leave it to a side since I wasn't too sure about it. After I continued editing the image with the guy, let's say it, I was just messing around with the effects until I decided to use a wind effect for the arm part that created a sort of distorted effect. And that was the effect that I was going for. The cover art project name in fact is Distortion. Then I continued playing around with images, text and 3D lines. Oh, by the way, this is only an invented album cover and it's not for a client, I just made it for you guys, for the video and for my channel, but firstly for you. So if you're liking it, please subscribe, please like it, because there's no point of watching it without leaving a like or subscribing. I'm adding such 3D lines to create an atmosphere of distortion and confusion. This in fact is the album cover name. seeing how I'm creating the logo. The logo will have as first line the music label name, so in this case global over their 3D graph. The second line will include the concept name, so distorted view. Then the third and the fourth line will be just to make the logo more complex and adapted to the aesthetic, so about the distortion. And in this case I will do in most of my designs 
I add some text just to fit in some space and make the graphic, as said earlier, more complex. Hey, this shit wavy, wavy, wavy. Bruno stands on this motherfucker. Then I added some stars to represent the distortion and positioned the whole completed logo on the side of the first image. Here I'm just continuing adding some 3D graphics. Time to find a cool background image. I'm thinking of adding a landscape of the desert that reminds me of Mars. Okay, now that we have it, let's add a custom gradient map over it to make it aesthetically similar to the other cover art elements. It looked good on its own, but added as the background under the other image makes it bad. So, I decided to use the same colors of the gradient used to make the other image, uh, so the image of the guy, but with different positions. So, I'm like recreating the gradient map. Even in this case, uh, uh, I didn't show my position uh, of the colors and the color IDs. The final result for the background was good, but not perfect, below the other image. So I decided to change the hue of the colors. At the start it was pretty difficult, so I decided to start over again, uh, making a similar thing to the starting gradient. So firstly adding a red and black gradient map, and then adding the same map used to make the first image. Oh, and it's not finished. As I did before, I decided to change the hue to match the other graphics made. And finally, it worked. The next thing I'm going to do is to add some objects. I'm first thinking of adding a camera border, let's see how it goes. Oh, and uh, just kidding, uh, I take my words back, it's horrible. Now let's try adding something that fits the image uh, the most, uh, so a gradient a square of a real thermal camera and some random coordinates uh, and words near it. After finishing adding the gradient box, uh, I'm thinking of adding even a safety hazard symbol. I'll choose the one that fits and inspires me the most for this context, of course. Now I will design the part below the main image.
To cover the bottom part, I'm using the thermal camera image with different hues. The next thing I'm going to do is to add other graphics on the bottom. Now to conclude this cover art, I'm adding the definition of the title of the song, the actual song title and the label name, and that's pretty much it for the graphic. Now we are going to add some texture effects over the completed cover. So adding some uh, uh, saturation, some hue and even some grain effects uh, to give that Travis Scott kind of vibe. Okay, so now the thing that I'm going to do is to add uh, the design on some mockups. Uh, I found them on Behance uh, and on Google. Here's the final result. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, as I said before, subscribe. That's pretty much it. I'll catch you soon. Bye.